Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So in the previous video on Cutter, we took a look at the UI and how to utilize that while we're doing static analysis. Then we took a look at a couple other alternatives for the R2 framework. Now we're gonna take a look at Cutter again and we're gonna use it for some debugging. Just a simple example to show you how the functionality works in the UI versus the command line. So I have Cutter open here. I'm just going to click on my a.out file from before and then I'm just gonna hit OK with the default settings I got here. Once this opens up, I'm gonna to wanna to set some breakpoints, right? So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna break in main, so I'm gonna hit F2. Now, this is in the decompiler, so I just set it up at the top here. You're probably better off looking at the graph view or the disassembly view where you're doing this, so you get a better idea where you're setting those. Now let's click into this check password function. And if you remember from the previous videos, within this check password function, we have the string compare. If we put a breakpoint on there, you'll notice right before the string compare, we have S1 and we have S2. S2 was the argument coming from the user, and S1 was the password coming from within the application. So if, for example, this Joshua was actually obfuscated, and there was some kind of obfuscation scheme that deobfuscated it between here and where it's moved into the registers where it's compared to the password, we would be able to see the deobfuscated version within the RDI. So in order to do that, we would hit the play button, which would start up the debugger. And we don't have any command line options that we have to set when we execute the actual executable. So we'll just hit OK. And that'll take a minute to load up. Once it loads up, you'll see my screen here changes quite drastically. Now, one thing to mention here is that I actually have my decompiler here next to my disassembly window, and we're gonna remove that, but the reason I had that here is because earlier I was looking at disassembly and comparing it to the C output over here. So that's kind of the way that you use Ghidra. But we don't actually need that here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. But just for your future reference, that usually starts on that tab here, and I just, pull it out of that tab, and I put it right up here, let it go. So you can kind of move these things around. Another thing I did was from this tab view here, I actually moved the hex dump down here so it's more similar to Ollie Debug. And then one other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my registers up here because I like them up here, and you could just drag and drop these anywhere. The stack memory's down here, the hex dump is over here, and we also have a command line down here you can hop in to do commands. So first thing we'll do is we'll hit the continue button, which will drop us to our first break point in main. The buttons are pretty much the same as any other debugger. You have your step over, which will knock you down to that push RBP, then move RBP RSP all the way down. And then if you see a function call, of course you can hit the step into button and that'll drop you right into the actual call. And this is a puts call. We don't really need to do any reversing here. We don't really care about it. So what we'll do is we'll hit continue again, which should take us to our second breakpoint at the string compare. However, it's paused because if you remember correctly, this application wants a password. So it's not prompting us, but we know that it needs the user input before it gets to the string compare. So we can hop down here and say debuggy input and type in test password. We'll hit enter. And then we should see this drop to the string compare because now we hit our next breakpoint. Now that we're at the string compare, above the string compare, we have our password and we have our arguments that are in the RSI and RDI registers. We can see those by looking at them in the hex dump down here. So if I right click on RSI and I say show in hex dump, what you'll see here is test pass. And then if we go to RDI and we say show in hex dump, we'll actually see Joshua, which would be the password we have to type in to actually get the correct password in this program. So if this was obfuscated in memory in some way, and then it was put in the register unobfuscated, we'd be able to pull that out of the memory and take a look at it. That basically covers all the simple functionality regarding cutter and debugging. I just wanted to show the difference between, say, the R2 or Ryzen command line and using the UI 
There's a lot more things you can do with the UI, like dragging things around and dumping things to hex dump that makes things a lot easier than it is typing everything out when you're doing a debugging session. So hopefully that was useful. If it was, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in a new video.